poppin'. It's your girl, Lynn. Lynn, and we're back with another poppin' video. And today's video is gonna be super interesting because I'm gonna show y'all something that I love doing and I'm gonna be doing for a living. Skin. I take care of skin. And I'm gonna be showing y'all how I take care of my skin. Whew, my God. That just took my whole, like, energy. That intro. Right, so today's video is going to be about how I give myself a fruitful facial and you'll be knowing why later on. Continue watching. Don't exit out. Do not exit out because I'll see you. Right, so the first thing we'll do though is get my hair away. trying to look cute with it and it just doesn't work right so let's just get into it because I talk a lot and I say so a lot so let's just do this the first thing that I usually do is I cleanse my face I just discovered this um, brand a few months ago online like one month ago and I actually love it just because it's a hundred percent vegan cruelty free paraben free sulfate free a lot of things free it ain't free though Oh my god, I'm so corny. And the only one thing about it, it makes my face dry after, but that's totally fine because I really moisturize it well. So let's just begin. Also, you do not need a lot. That kind of is more than enough, but I just wet one hand. This keeps coming off. There we go. Wash it off with warm water. Next, oh my god, my pat my I pat my face dry. After, oh my god, you see this is definitely a brightening one because look how I just look I feel like I took a layer of my my color off Anyways embrace it next we're gonna use a scrub This is the same name brand obviously and this is with walnut. It's a bit harsh I just go lighter on my face with it This is with as I was saying walnut it has a lot, but all that stuff is like natural things. I look so different on the mirror and on the phone. Like, I'm never gonna touch it. It took me like 10 minutes to get it. I'm gonna show you after I'm done what I did to get it where it is. I put very little. I wet it a little and then I go with it. And it's the same, pat dry. Hang time, ow. Now we good. All right, so back to what I was saying, why we call this a fufu facial is because I do not have a steamer to open up my pores and extract. I did a lot of extracting in school, so I don't really have a lot to extract, but I just want to show you how I do it. All right, so this is what we call it. Fufu facial. This is a clothes steamer. You steam your clothes. But guess what? Improvise, baby, improvise. So 
So we're just gonna wait for this to heat up and I'll be back then. All right, so I actually missed a step, I guess, cause I'm kind of nervous right now. But after the cleanse, cleansing, I got like, um, facial scrub, you tone. So I use the Witch Hazel facial toner. I just got it. I just got a lot of things. But this I got like a week ago. And I actually like it. And then after this part, we would usually give a massage in school, but we is not in school. With that phase trial. You know. All right, now we are just gonna use it. This you do for about 10 minutes. If you have extra dry skin, you can leave it on a little longer. And I'll be back like 10 minutes later. Oh, see, I look cute. <laughs> oh no, nah, bitch, I can't breathe. Like, this is hot. I feel like my whole body is sweating. I'm just dragging it. Oh no. All right, so after I'm done steaming to my like, my face is literally sweating. I put on my gloves to get ready for extraction. Hopefully I could get something out for y'all because I pop, every time I see a pimple, I pop it right away. I don't really have pimples on my face. But I'm gonna try. See, it looks like little veins. That's called broken capillaries. Cause I listened to my cousin. And she said, "Bro, just push up, bro. Just push up. Yeah. Just push up and break them veins." Alright. So then we just go in. Hopefully, I could get something for you guys. And I also like to use my tool. I have a little pimple right there. So I'm gonna try to get it out. And I got it out. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys how I usually extract, but that's how I usually do. And then after you extract, you put toner because you, your pores are open because of the steam. So now you have to close them so you don't get more pimples. And toner is usually antibacterial and it kills the bacteria in your face. Another question that somebody asked me was how to get rid of redness. Usually when we extract and people's faces are red, we use aloe. Amazing, that product is amazing for everything. For acne, for your hair. Yo, I swear to God. So after that, I would put on a mask and the mask that I'm choosing today is a papaya mask. Papaya is great for hydration, for brightening, for it makes your face look glowy and is definitely great for dry skin and I have dry skin. And I will use this papaya mask. I had it in the big container but it ran out so I just put it in one of these. I love the smell. It's just amazing. So let's speed it up. Yeah, also mask you leave on for like 10 to 15 minutes if you really want it to work. Other than that, it's not gonna work. 
I will definitely be doing a better fufu facial when I get my products. But another video that I wanted to do was how I clean up my eyebrows because everybody compliments them and says, did you do them? No, I just cleaned them up myself and I'm gonna let them grow a little and that will be my next video. Unless I do one with my girl DK and let you know that. Yo, that video's gonna be hilarious. Hopefully they don't act weird because when the camera is on you, I swear to God, you change. Come on, take this off. Okay, so this is how my skin looks after it's off. I'm so smooth. Like, I wish you guys could feel it. It feels like a baby's booty. Then, after that, we're gonna go in and moisturize. First, I use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This helps with keeping moisture in your skin, damaged skin, and healing. We use the La Mer Serum. Their stuff, I could say I tried a lot of their things. And I'm uh, about their products. They're not all that crazy. And for their price, it's just going to on for that. And then, I just got this the other day. I love trying products, and I see a lot of YouTubers use it and say they love it. But I was reading the ingredients, and mm, it could have better things in it. It's not all that good. So, once my skin soaks that up, I will add one of my favorite oils. And this is from the same name brand as these. And this is the um, Moroccan Argan Oil. You can use this on your hair, sis, little ashy ass, knees and elbows, and your face. One pump. Oh, and last but not least. This too, if it's um, my aloe, herbs, and rose water spray, that's all it should have in it. Why does it have so much ingredients in it? And when it says fruit extract, that'd be bull. So I'm going to just finish it and never use it again. I'm going to get one that has only those three products in it. Right. So... I'm a mess. This is my skin after. I'll bring the camera down to my room because I have better lighting in there. But I just want to show you guys what I did to get my camera where it was. I literally had to put the garbage, put this, and put that. Struggle is real, sis. It's really real. Wow, I'm loving it. I'm feeling myself. BRB. So I had to come here in my backyard because my lighting in my room was so bad. I need to get a ring light ASAP. But this is just how my skin looks. Very hydrated. It feels so soft. It looks so clean. And I love it. Feel beautiful in your own skin.